You know, I show on video games a lot. A lot. And... I'll be perfectly honest, they are shit. I played Genshin. Played Siege. Played Apex. Played Warframe. Played Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 was kind of fun, but then like I played with my um, friends, friends, and I didn't like any of them. That kind of ruined my Overwatch experience for me. Uh, it was... Um, Brutally uninteresting after that. I don't think I'll ever play again. I played SimCity Build It on my phone. That was actually pretty fun, I can't lie, pretty engaging. Um, but then again, I probably was like mouth breathing the entire time while playing. To be honest with you. And it wasn't like that fun, I'm just like stimulated. I played Dragon Ball Ages on my phone. Um, Uninstalled though. Quite unfun, <laughs> as expected. What do you expect? It's like I've been playing that game for years. I know what to expect when it comes to that video game. I probably uninstalled that. Kind of didn't want to really uninstall uh, install anything else. Maybe Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans. Cock. <laughs> Guys, it means Clash of Clans, not, uh, not what you think it is. Uh, you're inappropriate. Yeah, shut up. Dude, a dude, my friend just made that joke the other day to me. It was exactly 12 days ago he made that joke to me, and I was like, oh, why am I friends with this guy? And I have not talked to him in two weeks. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so fucking dumb, bro. Cock. Well, not the one you're thinking about. Uh, Clash of Clans, bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We're all almost 20 years old, bro. <laughs> I cock and slow. We're almost 20 years old. What the fuck? <laughs> I need to retire my mom. I need to make money. I need to be successful. I need to be world champ. <laughs> uh... Fuck out of here, man. Poor face. <laughs> so fucking. How do I know these people, man? Um. After that, I promptly remembered the kind of hours I spent in these games. I probably played for like, I played Genshin for like, like, I have a stream, I have a physical stream I can uh, show you, Twitch, I stream everything on Twitch, because I love making content, okay, there might be uh, titties here, it was titties here last time, I'm not, I'm dead serious, like, there was a massive pair, yeah, there's a massive pair right there, how is that even allowed, how is that allowed? They're just looking at you, bro. Like, she's barely covering up. Jesus Christ, I actually just... Five-headed. Dude, my hand became like a pudgy mess. Look at this shit. It was pudgy. My knuckles aren't showing. My knuckles... I played, uh... Opportunity. Find your way through my uh, roughly... 40 minutes... Half an hour, 32 minutes of Overwatch 2. And then my friend left, and I left as well, because uh, I felt like the game experience was ruined for me. And then I played 40 minutes of Genshin Impact, and then I left. Yeah. That's it. I used to be able to play the game for 12 hours, you know, 8 hours a day. I, go, I could play 1 hour, and then I'm like completely and utterly burnt out. And then I spend the rest of my day working on some shit, and that gives me much more happiness. You know, I've been doing it. I told you guys in another video, like, yeah, I've, I've been doing, I've been doing the, uh, I, I work and then I play video games at the end of the day type shit, and yeah, it's kind of depressing. It's kind of depressing because at the end of the day, you should be sleeping, praying for or praying for like, for the next day, or you should probably be. Working still towards your future, towards something that's worth it. What did I say before? Get money, and get a life worth living. And everyone just focuses on the get money part. Everyone focuses on the oh, you're so obsessed with money, you're so obsessed with this. Like, bro, that's my culture. You're insulting my culture, there, buddy. <laughs> I had a guy told me to kill myself, or off myself, sorry, and jump off a bridge, etc., etc. Because I said, get money and get a life worth living. He's like, get money. And he only highlighted 
the get money part and he ignored the get a life worth living part. Because, motherfucker, you only see, you only see the face value, man. Money's a tool. It gets, you, it gets you places. It gets you where you need to be in the world. That's it. It gets you food on the table. That's it. It's a means to an end. What is a life worth living then? Would you constitute a life worth living to thousands of hours on Apex Legends, thousands of hours on Warframe, on this, on that, on this, on that? Would that be constitutional to your life worth living? Or would it be spending time with your family, raising your family, raising your kids, making family of your own, you know, making your predecessors proud, retiring your mother? What is your life worth living? I thought to you the design. Bro, I was thinking about this previously before, like, I could very well be that 36 year old man who still lives with his mother, who still lives in the same apartment, same place, forever. Because it's just comfortable enough here. I see my mattress on the mattress on the floor, but it's just comfortable enough for me to not want to move, for me not want to change, for me to stay in the same exact place, same mediocre position. It's just comfortable enough. You know, I've got, I've got the fan that's me calling me down as I browse YouTube videos. Wasting time. Instead of doing my work. Yeah, it's comfortable. I can be very well be that third season around. Oh yeah, I work from home as well. Oh yeah, I do boxing just for fitness now. Um, I, I don't even come some days. I'm a fair prospect. Boxing. Failed at my career, or never really got anywhere too well, or too big. Plays video games when I'm done with work. Never retire my mom. She hoped, wished dearly in her heart, that I would retire her. I would work my ass off. And give her financial freedom. And so she can enjoy the rest of her years of her life, because she sacrificed all those years for me. 18 years for me. It's very possible. And why is it possible? Because of choices. I chose to leave my gaming session early. I chose to tuck my PS4 away after. I chose to dread every single moment of me playing. Then I chose to record this video. Then I chose to get back to work. I meditate after this, this video. And I'll begin work again. I'll make my other video. I don't want to talk about the KSI, Hamza, etc, etc. And then I'll keep, keep, keep going to work. Possibly until tomorrow. I might, I might even get sleep. Fuck it. It's my fault. Whose else fault would that be? The reason why video games probably don't hit it as much anymore is most likely because of the fact that you're becoming smarter. And when you become smarter, which usually comes with age, you often find it difficult to enjoy the stupider things in life. Not the simpler, not simpler is different than stupid, and not the uh, the good things in life that you previously found like alcohol, or dr drugs, or video games. No, no, no. It's more so you're too smart, you're too good for that shit. Genuinely. I genuinely believe that. All of these guys that are so improving, like, oh yeah, just video games, not here anymore. Why? Because you're so improving, bro. Because you're making money, because you're getting in shape, because you're challenging yourself. How can that equate to video games bro do sparring and boxing <laughs> boxes sometimes the emotions the anxiety the nervous nervousness the nerves the fucking everything bro the pressure pressure to think perform well the fear of getting knocked down being knocked out taking damage being in front of that fire that's not comparable with fucking apex legends genshin impact apex legends is a cheap version Engine Impact cheap version, bro. It's fucking dumb, man. Shit is fucking dumb. It's to be expected. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye bye.
I feel like I made a point and I never really truly, you know, expanded on it. But you know, that, uh, the point really spoke for itself. You took you hoping to small for video games. Don't play them anymore. There's something else that you guys can see. I didn't stream any siege though. Because I didn't want to see you guys I don't wanna like um show you guys how shit I am at siege. Uh, I walk, I talk, I walk the talk, and I talk the walk, and it's painful. I can't lie, you gonna, you have to kind of like respect guys like Fade or XQC or AC a little bit, even though there's not a lot, you gotta respect them a little bit, considering the fact that like the amount of times Fade dies and um, you know fails in Apex and goes like there you go or makes some fucking cringe uh, your pilot voice to entertain his viewers or you know dies embarrassingly or loses a clutch or you know gets shit on and gets mocked he still plays Apex he's still on and he's still streaming and he's always grinding you gotta respect that better not be an advertiser bro Oh, he's going crazy right now, what the hell? <laughs> audio, audio, audio. How was there two guys on the outside of my building that I don't hear? I, I just You'll never change, face. <laughs> How was there no audio right there? I need to turn the music on. No, copyright! <laughs> copyright! <sighs> I think I'm already right, copyright striped. Shit, man. Why, Fade? Weirdo. Yeah, um, the ability to constantly re like this is a, it's an impressive ability, I have to admit. Like, it, it is quite literally soul draining to keep playing Apex again and again. Like, four hours. Four hours is, is casual, bro. These, these guys work Apex. They work Fortnite. They work these games. They sacrifice their all their time and all their energy and all their focus on playing these video games. You guys have to think about that, bro. Just to be better than uh, other people and to play with. And I see a lot of guys talk about esports as well. Like, what the fuck? Why? I heard a, I heard a guy genuinely tell me that he wants to be an esports professional. I thought this guy was like a joke, but like he's been putting the hours and everything. But we're just recently. And this isn't me, by the way. Um, I, I don't want to bait him out. Should I actually bait him out? Nah. nah, nah. Um, I put aspiring esports professional as in my bio as a joke. Um, I knew I was going to quit at some time. But anyway, this guy, like, he used to play, uh, what's his name again? He plays, not Tekken. Not that dude. No, that, guy, that guy wants to play Tekken. That's like, he wants to be esports pro as well, but he's, he's kind of quitting that dream. But let's not talk about him. Um, if if you, if you guys, you're one of my close friends, you probably know him. He wants to, someone wanted to play was it CS:GO. CS:GO. He's a white boy. Um, you want to really want to play CS:GO? Very classic white uh, white boy gamer shit. You know, fuck it, bro. CS:GO is a great game, and he wants to play CS:GO professionally, and you, know, you stream every day for like six, eight hours as well, and it was on his grind and everything. I kind of just quit off though. Because it's difficult, bro. As soon as time times get hard and it just gets annoying and it's boring, you quit. We're done. Some of my friends in Apex are already master and predator. I can't lie. I have really swayed my friends. I, I don't wanna kind of associate with that shit. Actually, actually, man. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. That was video games no longer enjoyable.